My review is Star Wars Season 3 Episode 16 Legacy of Mandalore. To begin with, I, I did not end the way I expected, and a lot of the assumptions that I had made in a episode in one of my Star Wars series back in January were proven wrong, but also this has opened the possibility that I may not be as wrong as I once anticipated. But I'm still thinking many of those series I put out in that video will be wrong. So now on to the episode itself. And it did not end the way I expected, first of all. It was pretty, it was a very enjoyable episode. Definitely goes a long way to advancing the plot of the entirety of the season. So now I'm going to be getting more into the spoilers and plot details. So, besides seeing Mandalorians fight Mandalorians again, which we had not seen since the Clone Wars, was I think it was pretty neat to see how more of Mandalorian culture, and I read that, that kind of stuff a lot with Mandalore, and I had, when I saw in the, when I saw the planet in the season trailer, I had ex predicted it to be Mandalore, but it's not, it's one of Mandalorian's territories. Which in Star Wars Rebels Recon, they said that Mandalore has a lot of territory. So how much is it? I don't know, but I s it's way more than just one planet. Way more than just the planet Mandalore and the moon Concord Dawn and... And... Oh, the, no, the moon's Concordia, I believe. And then there's the planet Concord Dawn that we got. Well, I forget what the, the, the planet in this episode was called, but... So, Mandalore has a lot of territory. But, also, I did not, at the end, I did not really expect to, to have, for that, Sabine was going to stay with her family, I kind of, oh, that ending, I kind of more expected her to go back at the end with the rebels, or perhaps even her family comes with the rebels, something along that line. But, Let's see, where else? I, and, and then they were speaking, in the beginning there was some speaking of another language. I think that might have been the Mandalorian language. I don't know for sure. I'm, I'm going to ask that and I, I think I'm going to, because at the end of Rebels Recon they say, treat your questions too with something, 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 I forget. I'm going to ask what language that was, because I really want to know. And other than that, what else do I want to say about the episode? I because in the sea in the what was it? in the season trail in the mid series trail, we saw Sabine dueling, dueling Gar Saxon. Sabine was using Elsa's lightsaber. Like, how did she get a hold of it? In this episode, to <laughs> show that. So, as we just threw it to her. And like, and then originally, at the near the end, after Sabine defeated Gar Saxon, I saw Gar Saxon, you know, Gar Saxon went to join his sister, obviously, to shoot Sabine in the back. And then you hear the blast, I was like, okay, who had it? And then Sabine turned around, you saw that it was Gar Saxon who got shot, and like, I thought, did he kill himself? But no, it was Sabine's mother who fired the shot. But that was, the way the framing and all that was like, wait. And, and then the expression on Sabine's face like, who got shot? So I was for Sabine, then you see Garth Saxon, and see the blaster bolt in his, ch in his chest like, wait, did he shoot himself? And then they go back to Sabine's mother, holding her over a pistol, and was like, that's who did it. Okay, so that's it I have to say about the episode, but I do want to say, Something about the next episode, it was, um, was through Imperial, yeah, through Imperial Eyes. So, only, so, that episode is, I think it's gonna be neat. In the preview, the, at the end of Rebels Recon, they showed, showed a, a quick preview, of course. And then, like, who's, cause it's, what, from, based on the preview, I think the entire episode will be through the eyes of an Imperial. And I and they show us which Imperial is in the preview, Agent Carlos, and I predicted that even beforehand. 
but I think it's good that entire episode will be in first person. We we the only way we'll see see Agent Callus is 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 if is will be through his reflection. I think that might be the only time we see him. I think this entire episode also will have nothing to do with the rebel with the rebels crew. I think it will be purely about Agent Callus, maybe with some touches to what's going on with the rebels, but I think this is gonna be an Agent Callus focused episode. And I think this idea of having the entirety through through Agent Callus's eyes themselves is gonna be neat. That has that you don't see that too often. Some movies I think have done it, but one of the TV shows I like, it was produced in the 70s, in the match, there was an entire episode that was through the eyes of a wounded soldier. So I think that they're going to do kind of the same thing with this one. It's going to be entirety through the eyes of Raging Chaos, and we'll kind of see what's going on with the rebels, but through his eyes. Through, from his perspective. His actual visual perspective. So I think that's going to be very neat. It won't be kind of the normal way many, as TV shows normally are, kind of the, you know, you are a, you're in third person, this is going to be first person. So I can't wait till that happens. But that's all I have. My review of, um, my review of Legacy of Mandalore and my predictions on, on through Imperial Eyes.